Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys um, messages from beyond here. Hopefully this does resonate with someone out there. Let's just get right into it here. Spirit, what kind of messages would you like to give to your loved ones? Okay. I'm still trying to figure out the gender. Usually I will hear their voice, which is a clear indicator, uh, but definitely freedom, okay? Freedom from this world, freedom from this realm here, and that he is happy. It is known as the yes card, that sun, uh, and that is a very spiritual card. The high priest is beautiful. I do feel that it's a younger energy. I do feel male. Uh, but I feel that there's some kind of, and they're saying this, um, there's some kind of explanation, some kind of explanation of their passing. There's more things that they need to tell you here. Hmm. They, they don't like to see, I'm feeling that it's a son for sure. They don't like to see their mom upset. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I had a conversation um, with my son and I, something that was bothering me and I started crying and I said, I'm okay. Uh, and he goes, are you sure you don't sound like it? <laughs> so yeah. So definitely stressed out. There's some kind of comfort that he comes to you. I do feel it's a younger energy. Uh, it's tough. Like I keep hearing, I hear 20, but I feel it's a little bit younger I mean, he could have been turning 20, you know, when you're that age, when you're that young and you're, you always want to impress or whatever and make yourself older. And now that you're 50 or whatever, like me, well, 54, but who's counting? Uh, and, and now you're kind of like, I'm going to be 29, you know, uh, but it's kind of like that. So they're pushing me to say 20, but I literally feel a little bit younger than that. You know, I know people that will literally say, oh, I'm going to, gosh, I'm so old. I'm going to be like 80 in about 20 years from now. You know, like that, like they're funny about that. But you know what I mean? But this is definitely trying to bump up the age is what I'm feeling. Uh, but there's some kind of explanation. There's some kind of communication. I feel like a little bit of desperateness to get in touch with you here because he doesn't not, he does not like to see his mama cry all right he does not like to see her upset i'm fighting back the tears i am i'm feeling it a little bit there uh but definitely they don't like to see no spirit likes that okay yeah there's something that needs to be cleared up I feel that you need confirmation that he's still around and he's trying to get to you here. But, uh, and it's explained in the book too, uh, especially the new one. I know I talk about that. It's in the question and answer section, um, chapter seven, I think it is. Uh, but anyway, so it's kind of like, I need to explain things. I need to confirm with her that I'm okay. But you're blocking your energy. Nine of Swords is nightmare stage. Your energy level, your vibration is low, like really, really low. And that's because it's a sad event. It's sad, you know, uh, and nightmare stage for sure. But you can't hear him because of this level is so low. If you higher your vibration by trying to heal, okay, and calming your mind, you would actually hear him because he's very persistent and letting you know, explaining to you that he is okay. You know, this means everything to him. He sees you unsteady, okay, and he doesn't know, he does not know what to do here because looking at that son is like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I keep trying and I just want to speak the truth here to let her know that I'm okay, okay? Yeah, you definitely do talk to him, Queen of Cups here. Water sign doesn't have to be. I don't really go by the signs, but that's a motherly love I'm feeling for sure. You're you're going to improve, okay? And he's not going to go anywhere. It's kind of like he's not going to get discouraged and walk away from you by any means. He's going to keep on going, you know? And I feel that he's going to be, if he hasn't already, which I do feel that he has, because that nine is pretty long, uh, time frame here, but he sends you the strength, the, 
he tries to like give you that strength, you know, to heal energy here, uh, regardless if you can hear him or not. Yeah, I do feel that eventually you will hear from him. Try meditation. I just heard meditation. You may actually, what I'm picking up here is that you may actually hear his uh, voice during meditation. Absolutely. Oh, you would be surprised. My favorite expression is expect the unexpected when it comes to the spiritual world. Absolutely. And things are going to pick up that barrier of, of waiting for this confirmation that, you know, you want to know that he's okay and he's struggling to relay that message to you. That's coming on down. I just heard London Bridge is falling down. So he's going to keep on going. He's going to keep on giving you messages here until he uh, wins this. It's determined. I'm really feeling he's 19. Although I feel like his birthday was uh, real, real close to his uh, passing. Okay, the anniversary of his passing. So he he instantly made himself 20. <laughs> I think that's cute. I remember those days, uh, but definitely he's going to break through that barrier and there's going to be some kind of fast movements, fast communication coming in. Yeah, that's maturing energy and it's right uh, and right above it is the Knight of Swords. So he's going to get serious, okay, to break through that barrier. He watches you at home here. He has a little, he has a sibling. I just heard little sister. Uh, that was wild uh but yeah so he watches uh her i also feel that uh he talks to the sister and the sister does hear him uh so if if the sister says anything i just heard sarah or it could be an s name but the sister's name but uh does not have to be but i literally heard sarah uh but yeah i definitely feel that uh he, he i feel like the sister's going to follow through and give uh, you the messages that you can't hear the confirmation from, you know, uh, and that's fine, but he's going to strategize. He's going to, he's a thinker. King of Swords is a thinker here, you know, uh, he doesn't procrastinate, he does the job, you know, and if it's something with communication, he's on it, you know, uh, but definitely watches over the sister, I feel as well as you, but there's quite a determination to communicate, to let you know, because he sees the tears and it breaks his heart. Okay. I'm not going to lie. He, it does break his heart. Yeah. Uh, Empress. That's you. That's the mom here. Hang on. I feel that you reminisce and it's kind of like, well, that's all gone. You know, like I, I get that, you know, uh, but you reminisce of the good times and then you get sad because it's all gone kind of thing. He wants you to live your life. He wants you to be happy again. He's saying he's screaming at me. Deb, I'm not gone. <laughs> he corrected me. Uh, now in the physical world. Yes. OK, but spiritually, he still is with you here. <laughs> he corrected me. Yeah, see, this is what he's trying to say. Uh, you know, paid, that's younger energy as well. There's a lot of pages here. Uh, but definitely, you know, I'm I'm still here. This is not done, okay? Definitely. He left a lot of pain behind. He knows that. And he, I hear you. Just let her know. Tell her this, that... Things are going to improve, that they are going to uh, get better. He does hear your thoughts. I do feel that. He actually answers uh, you when you question him or you ask if he's around. You know, uh, do you see me? Do you hear me? When you ask those questions, he's, he's actually answering you. <laughs> you might not hear him right now because your energy level can be a little... Um, you know, stressed out, okay, and right, rightfully so, but you're going to get past this, okay, you're going to get, you always be in his uh, heart and vice versa, but that, you know, the, 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 the sadness will eventually release as time goes on, and that's from him, I just heard, so, pray, I just heard pray, pray, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to jolt you there, Pray, keep praying, keep praying. He loves it when you pray because, okay, so I have to explain. When I say pray, I don't mean like holding the hands and, you know, looking up to the scene. It could be, but it's really about just communicating, okay, to him. He likes that. He, he That's his way of knowing that 
you know, you still want to talk to him. He wants to talk to you. You still, you, the two of you still have that bonding energy together here. Keep doing it. T keep telling him that you love him here for sure. He is receiving that. He likes that. He likes to be acknowledged as well. So definitely, instead of he say his actual name, you know, make sure that it is known that it's that it's him that you are seriously talking to. Yeah. I feel that he knows that there's going to be some kind of decisions. Now, it could be with his passing, with... Uh, you know, like funeral, um, proceeding, like, like prepping for a funeral here or the cost of it or whatever. He knows that it was tough for you to do. Uh, he apologizes for that, for you to go through that pain. Yeah. He definitely reached out his love here. Okay. He does worry about you, but he knows that you're strong. Now, this isn't going to resonate. This can, you know, many people this can resonate with. But I feel for somebody, the mom is a Sagittarius. I just heard Sagittarius. You're strong. You're strong. You're feisty. You're going to get that back. And I feel like he knows that hearing this message, uh, hearing him eventually in the long run, hearing messages, he just reminded me of the sister. Uh, so definitely, uh, that's going to give you that encouragement encouragement to succeed with this and you're going to do everything out of love now i do feel for somebody out there that uh there's a fundraiser in in honor of him there's some kind of money raised for a foundation donation here but you're going to do it in his honor his name absolutely yeah yeah they're showing me the um i forget who used to do that i think a lot of stores do it but uh the little balloon uh, I think it was St. Jude's. Uh, but anyway, there was a little balloon and you put your whatever name. Uh, we always used to put my our son's name in the little balloon. And then they would hang up the picture of the balloon with the name on it, um, like on their doors or their walls. Uh, it could have been food stores too. I can't think of the name of who did that, but it's something like a fundraiser in honor of him you're going to do. Uh, and he's going to be so proud and so happy that you're doing this in honor of him so uh that's much later down the road okay uh once you kind of heal your energy more hear something from him pick up on his energy the sister confirming that he is around you know uh but yeah it's it's definitely coming in the future so that is what i have for whomever this is meant for thank you all for watching i appreciate it and i'll talk to you soon bye